questions. That's ridiculous. We all, okay. okay, I got a question for y'all. Okay, uh, panel yeah. question. If you had just a leisure 300 thou a year that mm. you didn't have to work for. Yeah. You didn't have to like do some, uh, some kind of grind or even just a small grind, mm -hmm. just a free 300K a year. What would, be, what would you do with your days? Oh, man. <sighs> Let's start with you, Eric. I mean, it's gonna equal a lot of nothing if I get. I mean, not not a lot of my first six months. Like you don't have to. Like my you first six do months. Other yeah, I know. But, but my first six months, I'm gonna do a lot of nothing. Mm. I'm gonna smoke a lot of weed. I'm gonna just like Netflix binge. I'm gonna do a lot of nothing. You're gonna call me and be like, Yo, Arrow, I'm gonna be. Like, I'm at the crib. You know, I'm at the crib. This is where I'm at. Just kicking oh. it with my money because this is what three hundred k a year is nice. You know, your house is good. Your yeah. car is good. Everything blessed. You it's know like what I mean? extra. Just like just you're, you're just cooling. extra three hundred k. You're cooling if you make three hundred k a year. You know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, I'd, I'd probably be doing nothing for at least six months. And then I'd, I'd eventually got to start reinvesting and doing some things. You know what I mean? You got to do something. You yeah, can't just do nothing forever. Like. Buy a property. Would you vacation? I did vacation. Oh, I, I That's be, what I'm saying. Six, I, six, I, six, I got vacation for the first six yeah, months. That's what I do. Right? I, I, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be building my house in Jamaica. Hey. Me, I'd build it in Ghana. Ghana what, it's a Ghana thing. Yeah, well, yeah straight, 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 straight. I'd straight. be building my house in Jamaica. Bang. Quick, fast. <laughs> and it's super cheap. I'm not, I'm not even barely spending and anything. I'm, I'm, I'm building it to like like North American specs like yo mm. you're, they're gonna look at like oh this guy really have money for spending <laughs> oh, would have yeah. that money yo, yeah. <laughs> yo I'm telling you I'm buying a nice piece of property and I'm building to North American specs bro yeah, like kid. yo hurricane force Her hurricane everything. proof everything yeah, ready yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Earth, like yo god forbid there'd have to be a sinkhole that's what have to, my house would have to drop straight up you know what I'm because that's up. how I want to secure in the ground like concrete you footings you have to buy Hella security Straight from that bro. Fucker. Listen to me, I have yo. Well, you're not, you have to buy no problem. No We're going my around the building. Three hundred k, you were doing this. Like shot you this. You you're you're just spending money on the house. Three hundred k. Well, you know it's gonna be a big. It's gonna cost you a lot of money though. Over time, my yeah, but it's, it's remember and shit like that would pop out with the M16. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't go. I'd, I'd, I'm cute? just saying, I'd buy, I'd get some property and buy it. And I'd build a nice house, but it'd be North American specs. You wouldn't I'm do not nothing saying, ignorant though. You got to in a kid. You wouldn't do nothing ignorant. No, but you're in a kid's not really. Yeah, it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. You know, but I'm not saying it's not a lot of money. I'm saying this 300k. This is not only what you make a year. No, this is on top. This is just leisure. This is the extra. This is the extra. Somebody just throwing you an extra 300k a year. You do whatever you got your, you already still, make your you're money. You're making your yeah. money. This is extra. But now somebody just said, yo, here's 300K every year. Hold that. It's really nice of someone. <laughs> I need friends like that. I need more, I need I need more friends like that. Yeah. Word. Yo, okay. can I get 300K? Nigga, I get, I'll, I'll give you 30 bucks. My, my homies fight with me for a nugget of weed. Oh, uh, 300K, jeez. Yeah, okay, I got one more, one more thing here. Let's what you guys I was going to say something local that's like, because. Shoot. York Memorial was on fire. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, for fucking twenty four hours. Excuse my language, and that school is like a heritage yeah. memorial building. I never. When you think of the name York Memorial, it's like okay. It was it going makes, on for a long time. You know the center. The center. They, yeah. Well, no. This will. So this will happen. Mm. The first fire started in the auditorium. They finished that fire. They got mm. it out, and then they're saying in the watch after the fire security's on the scene after the fire mm. security must have seen a one two flicker by the time the man called the flipping 911 and got the fire department there it was a full engulfed it fire it was crazy like, there was nothing he could there was nothing they could do you understand what i'm saying just fight it and defense mode it became a six alarm fire. It was burning for twenty four hours. Are, are they saying it's suspicious? No, of course. No? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so they're saying yeah. they think someone the said first, it. They're saying the first fire seemed suspicious. Now they're saying this fire also seems suspicious, right? So obviously now the fire inspectors are gonna look into it and see if they can find the cause of the fire. The man who said that is shitting himself I, right I, now. You know, what I, I, you know what I kind of feel happened, and I hope that's not, it's not the case. I hope it's not two man was balling up our backwards. I, I pray. I, I pray it's not a wood. You know, like burning <laughs> a cigarette or burning in the in the auditorium, and then a teacher came in, and the man just cut quick and, and, quick and quick dropped the yeah, blunt, like yo, fuck it, yeah. and don't realize, and then oh, poof, fire I mean, start. Have been hashing and because, the shit. And the, it's an old Lee. building. Yeah, there's so much old memorabilia, stained Ooh, glass. There's a bunch of like World War Two veterans that went there, shit like that. That's what like it's an old old but school. Man. Yeah. There's supposedly a little silver lining. There's a silver lining. There's a lot of damage, mm -hmm. but the actual building itself is still like intact. They're saying stable. the structure is still, the structure yeah. is still intact. So they're saying it can be it can be salvaged, hopefully. Yeah. And they're saying that some of the firefighters from the first fire mm -hmm. and 
were removing photos and remember stuff off of the wall. Oh, like to as save it. to try and save to stuff, save yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, important yeah, yeah. old photographs yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So they're hoping to find like an, an an archive of that, like a record of what they took the off stuff the that wall, they say right? they were like, saying, or whatever. Because yeah. they're also saying that the blueprints. For the school where they are, like the hundred year old bl- blueprints was salvaged. Mm. So they're gonna say that hopefully they can use that in the rebuilding somehow, some way. Mm. Yeah. Right. And then I seen one of the girls that was on the, the news saying like, I went to the school, like I grew up with that girl. I look, I'm like, holy shit, I know that girl from from when I was a you. Mm. She's a wicked ball player. Mm. Like yo. And yeah. she's like, yeah, I went to the school and I'm walking across and I and I broke down in tears. I'm like, holy shit. And I'm just hearing it. And then when I actually, I'm like, yeah, yeah like thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah. And then like. My grandfather was in World War II. So, so yeah. Yo, you, you got respect for it. You know what I mean? Even like, to a deeper level. And then they're like, I mean? oh, the 11 steps represents. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. The, the 11 minutes for the, the remembrance. Yeah, and the 11-11. Yeah, 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 and whatever like, it was. there's so much small little significance you know, symbolisms, there. Yeah. Symbolisms there. Carvings and pictures and stuff like that. And the auditorium was like the main focal point from most of this stuff mm-hmm. and that's where the fire started yeah right yeah that's fucked but up but then man. when they show it on the news it's like a skeleton the yeah, roof like collapsed when you see it, you see you know, it the yeah. roof collapsed but they're saying structurally it's safe but the roof collapsed the center part like if you look at it yeah. it just looks like um like a broken down like a war torn building like like yeah, a, just like a one bomb. run down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like a yeah. bomb hit and mm. devastation left and tore up everything. Yeah, the yeah. roof is gone. It's they say the basement is flooded, smoke damage everywhere. Obviously, people's personal effects are still in the building. Yeah. that they left behind. Yeah. So now they started a GoFundMe page to try and try and start to rebuild start it or whatever rebuild. it is. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be an overtime thing, and it's sad. But you know, the government will probably kick them some money too to kind of help. Well, they're saying out insurance and, and stuff like that. All obviously, of that stuff. The but it's it's one of those things you can't. There's nothing you can do to get it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're, they're, they're definitely going to lose things in it, you know? Oh, for sure. There's yeah. definitely going to be losses. Yeah. 24-hour fire, for sure. Yeah. Um, the last thing I got on the list here is Canadian or Canada's Border Service seizing phones and laptops. Okay. Is that new? Yes. What do you so mean by seizing? Because I know oh, before they're, they're allowed access to. So if you go across the border and they're like, give me the passcode, you have to give it to them. Well, um, is what I was told. What uh, I, was I don't know, because I, I haven't even attempted to go to the border. Uh, I mean, see? Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I don't got a problem with that. I got a <coughs> loophole for that. Yeah. Because I have a phone that I travel with. It's mm. a traveling phone. That's oh, yeah. all it's for is to travel. I don't do nothing. Let me, let me yeah. give the article Sorry. here. Yeah. <laughs> So Lawyer Nick Wright, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, ha- okay, so Nor- Nick, Lawyer Nick Wright of Toronto um, has his hands on a smartphone and a laptop seized by Canadian border officers after refusing to take his hands off the device password. With today's number of smartphone users steadily u- um, rising, questions are now being asked if Canadian border officers should have the power to seize phones without having a warrant. Nick Wright, also the Toronto business lawyer, voiced his distress, stating um, the policy is outrageous further adding i think that is a breach of constitutional rights for sure and after he was flagged at pearson airport on april 10th um for additional inspection in which the border officer did not provide a reason for um i think that's the big issue though right like so they're allowed to do things without providing a reason is is probably one of the biggest problems right because yeah they it's like a lawless situation right you know what i mean they yeah. just because i felt like it. You, yeah. Yeah. you can you, make up the law as you go yeah basically. exactly mm-hmm. you know so that's a problem you mm-hmm. know and i think like the border the border's always been like that though it's always had like it's it's weird like police have to follow certain rules and like they have to catch you a certain way yeah. or, or pull you over a certain way but the border it's literally a free-for-all you know what i mean if yeah. i have a suspicion if you you look you fit the mold of whatever it is in my head you know what I mean you can be driving Mm. towards the border make a wrong turn and go to the border oh yeah yeah I've heard of that before go to the border and be like um I wasn't trying to cross cross. I just made a wrong turn and I ended up at the border yeah well since you're here let's search you yeah you can watch me drive around back here if you want to yeah no let's search you run Mm. your name and see what you're up to yeah yeah Yeah. so yeah that's that's what's happening there's one thing I wanted to actually um to touch on Mm -hmm. that I saw you guys at uh you guys posted the interview I I never got to the second part the Lamar um Lamar Skeet the Lamar Skeet interview you and everybody right now i'm an innocent man and there is a whole lot of miscarriages of justice in my trial and if everybody's supposed to have a fair trial and if they have the facts that they need to convict me 
then why they keep on playing unfair? Every card that they told me that I had to play to go to the next level of the game, I had that card. And I, I really think that's that's a like a tricky line mm -hmm. that that um that the courts are playing with. You know what I mean? Like uh, I the think the lyrics thing you're talking the about. The lyrics thing. Yeah. I think the lyrics thing is a a really funny line, and I think it's f super fucked up that you will never have another genre of music subject to this. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like they're like for as long as we live, I I I will put money on it. You know what I'm saying? I'll put a brown bill on it. You will never see a country artist. You know never. what I'm saying? Ever in court, uh, w with them saying you know your lyrics. You know what I mean? You said X and O in your lyrics and yeah. whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? And and I think that situation is like super, super unfortunate. You know what I mean? Like I feel for that. I feel for that brother straight up because, like you know, regardless of what he's he's charged for, whatever, or regardless of you know how they the crown feels yeah. or whatever it is, you know, he still do um, Canadian rights. Like he he has Canadian rights just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And I think. You know he's he should have a fair process. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, and that's I don't know. That's super 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 unfortunate. You know what I mean? And it's like, sticky. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a slippery it's a, slope. It's a, it's a slippery slope, and it's one of those things where you know a lot of people might even be scared to speak up. You know what I mean about it for yeah. him. You know what I'm saying because you know you don't even want to get lumped into any of that stuff, or you don't want nobody trying to use your lyrics. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm just thinking back, like I've said some crazy shit. In some of my songs, I'm sure throughout the years, you know what I'm I've saying? I've said like, shit in my own yeah, songs. Yeah, you know what like, I mean? Yeah. Like that, that, you know, so true. I, I don't know. I just, I, that's a really, really slippery slope when like they could use that stuff in, in the courtroom. You know what I mean? I just yeah. don't think, I don't think rap lyrics should ever, unless a man is saying like, I murdered Jamal on the, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you're literally incriminating yourself and saying what you did. Yeah. You know, on May 29th, I was shooting up the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a whole nother thing. But For sure. to be yeah. able to take whatever generic line I use or whatever, and then now you're twisting it in. And like, people that are not of the culture determining the slang and the, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just think that's a, a really, really slippery slope, man. And it's that, not the first time they've been using Right, music. I know, like, Noble Noble had a situation, and mm -hmm. I know... Mm -hmm. Even when we had Turk here on the show, Turk, Turk Same said they used 13 videos in his bail hearing. Which is mm -hmm. crazy. Right? Which is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, think right? about that. They would never do that with any other genre of music. You no, know what I mean? Think about this. If, if like, uh, Johnny Cash or... One of these guys was in court for domestic violence, mm -hmm. and then you go pull up one of their songs. Yeah, I drank whiskey yeah. and I gun butt my yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he was telling us he's telling a story and, in his yeah, music. And you know what I mean? It's a story. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not gonna say, "Oh, this is real life. Yeah. This is what he actually did. Let's he see, actually gun butt his wife yeah. after drinking a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, let's and now he's singing him. about it. Let's convict him. Yeah. No." This is a great song. Let's give him a, a award for yeah, it. Let's give yeah. him a Grammy. Let's give him a Grammy. 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 Yeah, hold this Grammy for that. You understand what I'm saying? This is a, yeah. oh my God, this is a wonderful song. Yeah, yeah. I just, right? that, that, watching that, because like, like I said, I keep up with you guys, you know what I'm saying? And like, I seen you. that and I was like, what the and fuck? And on the flip note with Lamarski, right? R.I.P. to the gentleman who was murdered mm -hmm. in all of this. 100%. We're not taking away yeah, no, 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 not at all. Not at all. Not the a, yeah, victim like, to this at all. And we don't want people to think we're glorifying No, 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 no. Anything. I just think he's, he's, no. he deserves a fair, that's a fair it. trial. And, that's all we're and if you're going to convict him, it should be based on whatever facts in the case or whatever it is. If he gets convicted based on that, by all means, you know what I mean? That's the process. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you play this game knowing that that's the process and, and that could be the outcome. You know what I mean? But I just think that for them to just cruci you can't crucify a man based on lyrics. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, that to me is a really slippery slope and a slippery pre precedence that the court setting, you know what I mean? Because obviously if you allow it with one, you have to allow it with all, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And, and it becomes a thing where, you know, you're going to allow it when it, fits the bill you know what i mean when you feel when it works it, out for them yeah when it works for you you know when i'm a crown and i don't really have nothing you know what i mean i may use that and again not to take away from the victim you know what i mean because that I'm, I'm happy you said that you know what i mean because that's a big thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. I, I, my heart goes out to the victim's family you know what i mean that's sure. that's fucked R. up R. on R. both Kenneth ends Mark. yeah man it's fucked up on both ends you know what i mean but i i really do think that he should be um given like a fair process like without without his lyrics being involved in it yeah. and, and it's not even to say like 
you know, he was a multi-platinum rapper that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he, was a, he was a man that was trying to do a thing to get out of his situation and he was making music, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's trying to, trying to get out of his situation, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's fucked up. But yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate you, um, you know, you speaking on that, you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, 100%. And there's, there's more pieces of that that's going to be dropping mm-hmm. real, real yeah, soon. Yeah, no, I'm going to check out for that. I'm going to check part two, actually. When I get out of here, I'm going to check part two out. Um, let's, let's wrap it up.